We are back with Lights in the City. I'm your host, Rywin Brown, and I'm here with the one and only Desi. So, Parlay is a big part of your comedy, and I see you got the A Parlay on your shirt. Tell me where the inspiration for that specific character comes from. Well, Parlay is that person, I feel like, if you're from, like, the hood or whatnot, it's always that one friend. But he is actually a real person. I, people always ask, is he real? He's real. Okay. You know, but, you know, he just got some stuff going on. He can't, like, really show his face around the camera, you know. So, that's real life. You know, so, but it's a real life character. That's, that's the experience based off, you know, down south, East Atlanta, Georgia. So, yeah. Okay, and down south, East Atlanta, Georgia. So, that's where you're from. So, a lot of your comedy does come from your hood experiences or not necessarily yours, but what you, you know, portray in your comedy. So, what relation is that connected to your life or your background? Well, I wouldn't say that that's the only thing that I do, you know, because I have, like, character work that I do as well that kind of, like, relate, go back to with my family, how I grew up and experiences from, like, childhood memories, you know, with little Johnny and Mama Risa, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm very inspired by, like, people like Eddie Murphy. So that's, like, who inspired me as far as, like, my character work. You know, just bringing that real life, that black culture, that – that family type of vibe, you know, when it comes to things. Like, you know, you got your Martin. You know what I'm saying? Everybody love Martin with his character and stuff like that. So those people, like, inspired me when it came to, like, character work and just trying to be related on that side. So, yeah. And speaking of Martin, I personally think that B. Simone is kind of like your Gina. You guys are very uh, – you guys have a lot of chemistry on camera, just even so, you know, with your comedy. So the friendship and the support with that, I've seen y'all on the road together. So how is that relationship? Oh, yeah, that's great, man. She's my dog, man. You know what I'm saying? We worked out. We've been knowing each other for about three three years plus, you know, and we started doing a lot of stuff, you know, together as far as, like, video content. And, you know, we even started stand-up together, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just had a show with her last night in Philadelphia, two shows at that. But, yeah, B. Simone is great, man. She's doing her thing, you know. We talk when we can. You know, we both busy. We're both on the road. So, you know, you know how it is. That's, that's what's going on with that. I love her to death. So, she's great. And then even also with your comedy, I can see a complete total difference from what you post on Instagram to your on-stage presence. How do you separate the two? Um, Like I say, man, from social media and from stand-up, that's two different things. You know what I'm saying? Social media, you, you got so many takes that you can do to get the right one. But, you know, when it comes to stand-up, you got to prep for it. And I actually want to give the people more of me. A lot of people, you know, what they done seen on stage, I don't do a lot of those things. So you, you actually got to, like, come to the show and, like, see, like, the real Desi, you know, I would say. You know what I'm saying? And that stand-up is, is different. You know, that's that's totally different. And that's going to open up a lot of other doors, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, movies and TV shows and stuff like that. And that's where you get your respect from. You know what I'm saying? Social media is cool. And, you know, I understand. You know, yeah, you can build your platform or whatnot. But when you take it to a whole other level like that, you know what I'm saying? Let the people like actually see you in person. That's that's gonna branch you off on a whole other level. So I would say, you know, people that's on social media to you know, that's good, but take it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? I can definitely see the difference there because you did your thing. And then lastly, before we wrap up, you did speak of Eddie Murphy being one of your inspirations. So we know that we do have new people on the block. Who would you consider as part of your Kings of Comedy as of right now who we have? In this generation right in now? In this or generation or right now. In the day. Right now. Right now, like people that I watch. Um, right now, um, people that I watch, I would probably say, I mean, of course, you know, you got Mike Epps, you got Kevin Hart, um, you know the shit. I even like Tyler Perry as far as like, you know, how he strategized with his business and his team. And, you know, so those are some of the people that's, like, inspire me on the level. I mean, but you got your young people, like, you know, of course, the 85 South Show. You know, shout out to DC Young Fly, Carlos Miller, Chico Bean, and all those guys. You got Dan Brand, of course, B. Simone, you know, who doing their thing on that level. Even got my dog, Alton Walker, man, you know, who's on the show with me tonight, man. He's great. I learned a lot from him. Tyler Chronicles. Um, Ronnie Jordan. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that's doing their thing, man, you know, that inspire me right now. You know what I'm saying? It's doing it. So, yeah. Well, you definitely did your thing. Memphis loves you, and we can't wait to see you come back. And make sure you guys follow Desi on his journey, and he's also still touring. Got a lot of things coming for you, because trust me, he is coming for everything 2019 and 2020 got for you. 20, 20, 20, 20, um, 100 years old. Everything. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Still doing stuff. Talking real slow. No teeth in my mouth. Still doing stuff.
wife gonna tell me to shut up and say get out of here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.